Hey folks, it's Nate. Thanks for joining me once again as we look to the horizon. I would like to apologize for the audio quality of last week's video and possibly some videos before that. I first heard an issue with it last week. I apparently had two different noise gate filters set up. It's a long story, um, and I'm not going to get into it here, but I think I have resolved that and the audio should be coming through nice and clear. I'm going to review this, of course, before I upload it just to be sure. So if you are hearing this, it's okay, but I wanted to let you know what happened there and hopefully we will not have that issue again in the future because it did make that video pretty unwatchable. All right, where are we at with our writing projects? We are doing pretty good. Um, I am uh, pretty much done with the formatting of Burning Bright and I am back to the issue of a cover. Um, I have reached out to a couple of artists now and they are booked up until later in the year. And um, one of the issues with artists is they are somewhat unreliable. Uh, since I'm just commissioning a cover, I don't think that's as big an issue. Um, you are a lot less likely to get flaky behavior if you just have a small commission out, but uh, larger commissions, you can often lose an artist part way through. Uh, they just aren't used to working on something for a long period of time. I understand that it is a thing you have to develop discipline around, but um, for for a single piece, I think it will be okay. I'm just trying to um, I'm trying to find another option that I think produces the kind of work that I want and has a track record of being pretty reliable. So I'm sorting through that. If you have any names to suggest, um, drop them down below. I would like to see an artist who has done this kind of work before. I am specifically looking for an illustrator as opposed to somebody who works with, um, you know, uh, you know, digitally reframing assets or AI generation. Um, that stuff can be nice, but I am looking specifically for someone with a, a painterly style. Uh, my first choice was George Alexopoulos, if you need an example. Um, he's done some really beautiful work uh, with digital brushes and, and art, and that's kind of the, the um, look I'm going for. Also someone who's very used to working with uh, warm tones. And another thing, another issue with this is I am also, I also want to have a coherent uh, art style to the covers of this series. So I want to commission the same artist for every cover in this series, which is potentially, depending on audience reaction, as many as eight books. So I am concerned about that as well. Um, yeah, so if you have any thoughts, let me know down below. Um, this is something I am thinking a lot about. And again, I would prefer a person who is reliable, uh, responsive, and professional who has done this work a little bit. I know for the, you know, for everyone trying to break in, it's frustrating to hear, well, have you done this before? Can you give me examples? Um, but I don't have a whole lot of money to take risks on um, an unknown quantity. Um, honestly, uh, I think the business of, of finding and breaking in new people um, is is the responsibility of, of specifically middle grade employers, people who already have their own established reputation and enough scratch they can they can gamble with it, but not so much that they are risking harming their reputation if things go badly. Um, that's neither here nor there. Anyways, um, the, the business of finding and, and breaking in new talent, um, I don't think I'm well positioned. So that's why I am, again, looking for someone who's experienced, who I know I can rely on, and I don't have to take a huge risk on. Um, let's see, beyond that, what are we doing? Um, since the editing is pretty much done. The formatting is, is largely in place. Um, obviously, I have to get a cover and get that worked out and then um, do a few other things. Um, one thing that I noticed as I was reviewing Burning Bright is there are a couple of edits I meant to make um, that I, I hadn't made. Most of those were minor and I just did as I was formatting, but there was a scene I meant to rewrite that I didn't get to. I'm going to try and get to that this week. But I need to get back to the gospel according to Earth and start pushing that forward again. So uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing this week. And that's the state of my projects. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. There is a like button and a subscribe button down there. You can use those as you see fit. And I will talk to you later.